Ilocos Sur is the province in the western part of Luzon, most populous island in the Philippines. Vigan is the capital of the province. It is a beautiful example of a Spanish colonial town in Asia as it showcases old churches and ancestral houses. Ilocos Sur has a colorful cultural heritage with exciting tourist spots, centuries-old structures and unique dishes. If you're planning to visit Ilocos Sur though, check out this top 10 tourist attraction. Baluarte Zoo just a 10-minute drive away from Vigan City is a privately owned Baluarte Zoo. Among caged animals, there are Bengal tigers, pythons, iguanas, camels, deers, as well as ostriches and flamingos. Visitors can feed monkeys, swans, peacocks, and parrots. Within the zoo, there is also a butterfly garden where you can admire thousands of butterflies and a track of horse riding. The zoo is open every day, and the entrance is free. Bantai Bell Tower Bantai Bell Tower is the historic belfry of the St. Augustine Church in Bantai. It is on a hilltop overlooking the province. The belfry was once used as a lookout for invading enemy forces. If you're looking for a postcard perfect scenery, climb up the Bantai Bell Tower. Crisologo Museum. The Crisologo Museum is small but houses a lot of memorabilia and antiques. If you want to understand the political atmosphere in the Philippines in the 70s, then this museum is a must. Flora Crisologo was the congressman who was killed by an unidentified gunman inside the St. Paul Cathedral. To honor him, his family converted their century-old family mansion into a museum. It gives you the opportunity to peek into the past. You can see the antique carriage and an old car that are still being used as a movie prop. Flora Crisologo's wife survived an assassination attempt while being pregnant. There is also a book collection, news clippings about Crisologo's death, and even the clothes he wore when he was assassinated, covered in blood. Hidden Garden Although this place is outside of Vigan, it is still a must-see attraction. You can get there by car or hiring a tricycle. There are food stalls and a cafe surrounded by a beautiful garden. There is a vast variety of plants and some of them are for sale. You can stroll around the area, buy some plants or other souvenir items. It is a great place to relax and get a breath of fresh air. If you decide to eat there, keep in mind that the menu consists of local dishes. Pagburnayan Jar Factory this jar factory is actually one of the few authentic jar makers in Vigan. The name of this factory, Pagburnayan, refers to the handcrafted pots. It's fascinating to watch how clay is transforming into pots. The whole process will undoubtedly be interesting to kids as well as adults. 
you will also get the chance to try to make a pot yourself. Beware, it's not as easy as it looks. Also, if you succeed, keep in mind that it will take a couple of days until it's completely done. Plaza Burgos Plaza Burgos is one of the two major plazas in Vigan. It was constructed in honor of Father Jose P. Burgos. He was executed with other clergy reformists due to his protests against inequality of Filipino priests. Plaza Burgos is the locals' favorite hangout place. It's an ideal location if you want to discover their way of life. On its far end, you can find food stalls with local specialties including empanadas, their favorite snack. You shouldn't leave vegan without trying the empanada in Plaza Burgos. To make this gastronomic experience unforgettable, try ukoi and the local ice cream. Around the square, you can also find various souvenir shops and buy other locally made crafts. Santa Maria Church Santa Maria Church is officially known as the Church of Our Lady of Assumption. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as a part of the collection of four Baroque churches in the Philippines. In 1769, the picturesque church was built on the top of the hill overlooking the town of Santa Maria. This massive Baroque structure was not just a lookout but a religious center of the area as well. It is also reminiscent of the four centuries of Spanish domination in the area. However, unlike other churches in the region, it is surrounded by defensive walls like a fortress. Metropolitan Cathedral. St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is one of the major religious landmarks of the Philippines. The original structure was made in 1574, but it was just a chapel then. In 1641, the chapel was replaced by the church, but it was finally completed in 1800. The cathedral was built in Baroque earthquake style, with strengthened thick walls and massive structure against earthquakes. When you enter the cathedral, you can admire its interior. The silver paneled main altar, 12 smaller altars, and a brass communion rails made in China. You can also see Chinese characters where the rails connect to the building. The cathedral's octagonal design is supposedly rooted in Feng Shui principles. St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is close to Plaza Salcedo and Plaza Burgos. Sikia Mansion. The Sikia Mansion was a home of the Philippine sixth president, Elpidio Quirino, and his family. His wife's family owned the mansion though. The Sikia Mansion houses the president's extensive memorabilia, and it's worth a visit. Some of the historical and political gatherings took place here. Marvel at huge rooms and look through the peeping holes used to observe visitors in the receiving area before allowing them to enter the living room. The mansion itself is another example of a hybrid Spanish and Philippines architecture. cities in the Philippines. It is most famous for its heritage village and Calle Cresologa Street. This historic center dates back to the 16th century and is the best preserved example of Spanish architecture in Asia. Because of the unique blend of the Philippines and Spanish architecture, 
well-preserved Spanish monuments and rich cultural heritage, it has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The best way to enjoy the village and its cobblestone streets is riding calesas or horse-drawn carriages or strolling among the beautiful colonial buildings. the best tourist attractions in a local sur. So on your next vacation, don't forget to include a local sur in your travel itinerary. This is Pinky to Jerb, your friendly travel YouTuber, saying thank you very much for watching, keep safe, and God bless us all.